back to Will's Kitchen Table. Today guys, I'm making some vegetarian soup and I'm gonna make some tuna melt as well. Um, this tuna melt, you guys can use it for lunch or you guys can use it for dinner, whatever you guys um, gonna make, supper, you know. So guys, let's jump right in and get this uh, vegetarian soup started. I got um, cauliflower, broccoli, and I got some butternut squash, guys. But my soup, I like to put some onions in there, a little bit of celery, some carrots, and I'm gonna saute those inside the pot, guys. I just don't wanna boil these veggies and blend it. No, you need some flavor inside your soup, guys. So that's why I'm gonna turn it up with some um, satay veggies, guys. Crunk my heat up right here, my pot is on. I'm gonna dump these right in, just chop up your onions. Don't have to be too small because it's gonna blend, all right? I'm gonna puree everything in the pot, guys. That's what I'm gonna do with this, to turn the flavor up. You guys know I like the flavor up, all right? Get a piece of celery right here. Like this, we're gonna throw this right in. That simple, guys. Look at that. My veggies are ready to go in the pot, guys. I'm just gonna bring my pot, bring it right over to my pot, and dump these right inside. That's nice and hot, guys. You can use olive oil, vegetable oil, or butter, margarine, whatever you guys like. You can use. I'm gonna give this a quick stir. When you saute your vegetables, guys, it's so much more flavor inside your pot. Clamp that up a little bit more. Just gonna sweat these veggies for a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit of black pepper over that. Not too much. And guys, I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of um, fresh garlic right inside here. Get this going. And this, guys, this is a really easy soup to make. It's pretty fast and easy. You guys can use cream or milk or you do with that. know some guys some of you guys can't have dairy so you can make it without all right so right now guys just gonna sweat these off a little bit more not for too long then I'm just gonna have these inside don't put all the veggies in there the cauliflower Butternut squash, the broccoli. You just stir it inside for a few minutes, guys. And I won't add any flour to this soup um, because there's enough veggies in there to thicken it up. So I don't need to make a roux. Pretty simple. You guys look at that. Now, guys, I'm gonna have a half a teaspoon of oregano to that half a teaspoon of dry thyme guys we're laughing soup is looking good already mm. you guys could smell this right now it smells so good now just gonna add enough water guys to cover all these veggies Guys, right. soup going to cook for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. Just enough to cover your veggies. Alright, we're going to put a lid on that. Going to let it come to a boil. Alright, so I'll show you guys when it gets halfway down okay guys so time to make the tuna melt this is the tuna here guys this is two cans small cans of tuna just gonna shake some black pepper over this 
you know, fish, you need some pepper, guys, inside there. So some black pepper in that. Guys, I got some chopped tomatoes. Instead of sliced tomato on my sandwich, dice it up and mix it right inside the tuna. A little bit of onions and a little bit of celery right here going inside. All right, guys? Right there. I'm going to put a little bit of mayonnaise inside this. I'm just going to mix this together. So simple, guys. Tuna melt. Tuna melt. Tuna melt. Love tuna melt, guys. Look how simple this is to make your sandwich. Guys, for lunch. Mm. All right, I'm going to get my bread, guys, and we're going to get the pot and cheese. I'm going to make some tuna melt right now. That's done. That's it. All right. Okay, guys, let's get the tuna melt going here. So I got a little bit of basil here, guys. You can use butter if you like. I'm just going to put on the, the, the bread here. Just on the outside, guys. To get that nice sear in the pan. All right. Voila. And guys, you just flip them over like that. I like to put a little bit of cheese at the bottom too. So a little bit at the bottom here. Both sides. I get my knife and put this right on it. Cheat on this one can take a little bit more, guys. All right, then we're gonna top it, guys, with cheese. All right, so, guys, that's your tuna melt right there. All right, so we're gonna flip that like that and it's going right in. So guys, I'm adding a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder to this pot. You guys can put in whatever spices you like for your own flavor and add salt to taste. So we're gonna get this pureed right now, guys. guys you guys can put it in a blender if you don't have one of these um, put it in a blender and it should do the same job all right so that's the texture of the soup right there guys nice and rich you can add some cream if you like to this and salt and pepper for your taste and you're good to go my soup is ready guys mm, smells so good medium I don't want to burn my sandwich just need a nice color on the outside and the cheese melts so I need to put it on medium Looking beautiful. My tuna melt guys are looking so lovely. I'm gonna make you guys hungry. So guys, this is nice for this is a nice lunch idea, guys. 
you can add whatever you want inside the tuna. Hey guys, time to have some soup. Wow, this smells so good. Oh my God, this made me hungry. Beautiful. Wow. Right there, guys. It's lunch time. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. Mm. Tuna melt, guys. Look at the cheese are popping through there. Mm. Wow, that looks so good. So this is our soup right here, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching again. Another epic video, guys. Vegetarian soup and my tuna sandwich, guys. Take a good look at it. Um, you guys share the video. Share it, share it. Guys, comment and hit the like button. And guys, please hit the bell so you can know when I put up a new video. And thanks for watching again. And I'll see you in the next one.